how to fail at comics without even trying. This is this is bad. This is Oni Press is in deep, deep trouble. Uh, it's worse than than a lot of people thought it was. Mm -hmm. I mean, this company is on the verge, I believe, of going out of business. But now it's united everyone. It's united everybody. We're going to talk about uh, everybody united against Oni Press. So weird. Uh, Oni, Oni slash Lion Forge. We'll, I was going to say, you forgot about the Lion Forge part. Everybody forgets about the Lion Forge part. We'll, we'll talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles, by the way. Hello. This is Clownfish TV. And uh, this Oni Press thing has blown up. Normally, we don't cover a lot of comic book news anymore because people don't care. Yeah, imagine that. They don't care about the comic book industry. They don't care about the drama in the comic book industry. But the only thing that interests people when it comes to comic books uh, anymore is what stupid stuff Marvel and DC are doing to classic characters. Well, that's true. But I was just going to point out, though, um, is this another example of when you hand the keys to the candy store over to the activists? Yes. This is what happens to your company. Yeah. So Lion Forge started a couple of years ago. Um, I believe it was like a vanity project. This yeah. guy was already wealthy and he started Lion Forge. And then uh, it didn't do very well. I was even like, I'm completely confused by Lion Forge's yeah. business model. I, I think I've said before. Do they even have one? They would sell a couple of thousand copies of books. I'm like, this isn't sustainable. No. You know, not, none, of the, none of the market has been sustainable for the last few years. No. Let's be fair. So then they, they glommed on to Oni Press, and Oni you know, is best known for doing Scott Pilgrim, and the Scott Pilgrim books are good, and they're perennial bestsellers, but they, all they did was just drag Oni Press down, and then um, they wound up firing a bunch of people when uh, the pandemic hit, mm -hmm. uh, 2019. Yes, everybody said it was racism, I remember. And they all said it was racism because people were being fired, and they are like, well, we're uh, diverse people, and how dare you, Oni Lion Forge, because you built yourself up as like the diverse people's comic. So basically, book company. they 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 hired a bunch of diverse people, and yeah. then when they had to fire people, they already hired diverse people, so you have to fire diverse people. And it's okay yes. when you hire diverse yes. people, but you're not allowed to fire them because you know being diverse means you don't get to be fired. Um, but anyway. So they got rid of some people that had been at the company for years. Um, you know, it was, I know, Charlie Chu, they got rid of him, and James Lucas Jones, they were with Oni for, for like, God, like 10, 15 mm -hmm. years. And they were kind of synonymous with the face of the company. And I'm like, okay, well, it just looks like they're not doing doing so hot. And I think at one point, Oni Lion Forge owned uh, Comics Beat, too. Yeah, they did. They, they, they did. did. And, and then, then they sold it back because it wasn't worth it. Because it wasn't worth it. <laughs> Wasn't worth anything. Imagine hey, that. Heidi, give us a call. We'll make you an offer. It's no. not gonna be a good offer, but no. we'll, we'll make you an offer. Um, but yeah, so they haven't had an editor in chief since Sarah Gatos, who Sarah got gone from IDW. I used to work with Sarah. Uh huh. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna say it. Who unfollowed you when when people said you were Comicsgate when you weren't? Yeah, right. Yeah, they, you weren't, but because we asked a question, a couple questions about Marvel, and people said, "Oh, he must be Comicsgate." She she unfollowed him before, without even talking to him to find out that he was just asking questions. Yeah, I never had any problems with her, but she was at uh, she was at IDW when I was at IDW, and then she got gone from IDW. I don't know if she quit or what happened, but then she wound up over at over at uh, Oni, and uh, then she got gone from there. So this seems to be a pattern with uh, a lot of these small press companies: is they share the same people, and they burn through these people very quickly. You know, and uh, Oni is just not, it's not sustainable. Uh, but I thought comics were fine. Everything's great here. Comics are great. According to Bleeding Cool, Oni Press and Lion Forge employees were informed about the firing of James Lucas Jones and Charlie Chu last Tuesday. This would have been like a week or so ago. And now people are scrambling trying to get money out of this company because they're well, like... Well, they weren't paying people before, weren't they? They were, yeah, they were kind of not paying people very well before. That's what I thought. Uh, that seems to be... Par for the course, like every one of these companies is like, as soon as people start complaining, like, hey, I haven't gotten paid in like six months. It's like, holy shit. Well, it's like like IDW. Speaking of which, I knew IDW was in trouble back in like 2014, 2015, because mm -hmm. I had to chase them for money. Yep. You know, I mean, I had no problem with the people I worked with at the time, but like getting paid from IDW was hard. It was really hard. And that was before it came out that they were having all kinds of financial mm -hmm. problems. Maybe IDW, Oni, Lion Forge can merge. To, uh, they can be I, IDW Oni Press Lion Forge I Incorporated. Lone DW. Lonely. Lonely. <laughs> Lonely Comics. Um, Oni DW Forge. Now, I think Lion Forge is doing some animated series or something with uh, HBO Max now. 
Like they pimped out their. Well, they, that's what that's what IEW was trying to do. They were just trying to chase these other kind of deals that were like get entertainment deals. Yeah, and the problem is, is they got in at the wrong time because now all these these streamers are actually cutting back on mm-hmm. animation because it's expensive. But I think Lion Forge did. I saw it, and the art doesn't look bad. But they they got that through, and that's basically the end game for a lot of these comic book publishers. They they create IP that they want to turn into. Well, they do it for live bigger. action too. But you know, it was it. To be fair, I mean, I'm trying to you know give excuses to like IEW or Oni Press, but all those outlets were animation, animation, animation. Everybody was restructuring to p- pitch animation, yeah, especially little kid animation. Mm. And then right after they were just doing that, it was like six months later they just suddenly decided, hey, we're not doing animation anymore. I mean, it was like it was like a that you know so i mean i can get why they were they were trying to push it and they just all flipped the switch and stopped everybody's talking about it uh mark wade mark wade on facebook is telling people mark to wade. run away he said i he runs upon a time said i write i write well he did uh he when did. we talked to him on the phone now we're not now we're not allowed to talk to mark wade no yeah we're the wrong kinds of people but he's he's basically telling you get out now on facebook and this is the press release they put out. Their little like statement, because um, there's all Read kinds their of spe- statement first. And Here's a statement. statement with wildly sensationalistic rumors circulating and false information spreading. We'd like to reiterate that recent personnel changes at Oni Lion Forge Publishing Group were made with the sole purpose of evolving the company and brand and positioning it for long term success. We save so much money if we don't have to pay staff. Yes. That's how we do it. We, we just won't pay anybody anymore, um, and then we'll just pitch uh, animated series. We're proud of our long history in the business and continually strive to be better and do better. We started Lion Forge Comics 11 years ago. 11 years ago? Specifically to make great creator-driven content, and Oni's history is 25 years in the business. Yeah, Oni uh, you know, has put out some really good stuff over the years, but not, not lately. With a new framework that's being worked on now, we remain committed to publishing groundbreaking content, embracing pioneering creators. Oh, I thought they were, I thought it said embarrassing pioneering Embarrassing creators. pioneering creators and ad- advancing authentic diversity and inclusion. Unless they, until they fire people. Until they, they, they fire they, everybody. They're, they're great. They were like ahead of the game for you know hiring diverse people. But when they had to fire them, they were shit because they fired diverse people. We see an incredibly exciting future, not just for the company, but for our fans and content consumers. All five of them. Worldwide. So this is what Wade says. He said, this is what a press release would look like if it were written by Bizarro. I've been in this industry a long, 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 long time. And I've seen a lot of dumpster fires. I've He's been part of them. Started many myself. I've started many myself, but this one's burning unusually brightly. Reading this word salad actually makes me angry. A reminder, if you're a creator, there's something going on with this company, get out now. I do agree with him. Get I out do now. Agree. I do agree. Um, this is, look, this is the utter state of the comic book industry right now. Here we have Games Radar, which used to be Newsarama. This is where we're at with comic books right now. Newsarama, there wasn't enough comic book news. So they basically just took the comic book uh, uh, stories and made it a tab on the video game right. website. And now video game websites are failing too. Right, so now you don't have the get comic book or the video game audience. So they're laying more people off. Uh, I can't pronounce this guy's name. Henry Barajas, uh, Jasmine Amira and Amanda Meadows are being laid off. Alex Segura got laid off after being hired last year. Um, it's I mean, just... We don't want people to get laid off. I mean, don't get me wrong here. But there's a lot of weirdness here. I don't know why you'd go to that company anyway. No. Uh, Jim Zub uh, put out there, wondering if the rumored skeleton crew being kept at Oni Press will include people working on the project we were set to announce next week. Ooh, I would shit. I would move that someplace else, Jim. Yes, I would I, go. I, I would. I would. Mm. Uh, and a follow-up tweet six hours later. I've been told my current project is secure. Obviously, it won't be announced at San Diego Comic Con because they, they, I guess they got rid of their booth and they oh. pop, pop somebody Well, that else sucks because part of the deal was they were going to announce it at San Diego. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, Black Mage co creator and artist DJ Kirkland tweeted no emails about next steps regarding all the creators that now no longer have an editor to report to. This whole situation is uh, messy at best and shows a lack of integrity. So this is a, this is the part of the thing. You get your book picked up by someplace like Goni Press. This stuff can happen. Yes, um, I have to understand that going into it. 
Yeah, and look, this is not the first time we reported nope. on news like this. Nope. IDW, um, Action Lab. Action Lab was what I was Action thinking Lab, of. they went radio silent for... They're still radio silent, aren't they? I mean, I don't, don't have to going. check into that. I haven't seen it, looked into that lately. Some people... Not have to go look into it. Some people sued and got their, their rights back, and I think that you probably can do that if, if they're... If they said, "Hey, we're we got to publish your stuff within a certain time," right? Frame. They broke the contract, the deal by not following through on their end. Usually, you can get out of it, but yeah. Um, in 2019, Oni was acquired by Polarity and uh, Lion Forge. They merged, become Oni Lion Forge under the Polarity banner. Like I, I can't. <laughs> this is all. This all feels like three card Monty. This feels like like the guy in charge is like, let's just restructure the company as the best tax advantage. To write this whole mm -hmm. thing off as a loss. And then they just keep adding names to it. And they just keep adding names to it. Just go buy IDW while you're at it. Uh, yeah, so they withdrew from San Diego Comic-Con. Oh, see, yeah, I did, that was that was that, since yesterday, okay. Um, Popverse reported that uh, Alex Segura got gone. A lot of other people got gone. So the people that were going to be at San Diego got fired? Yeah. Oh, shit. And the booth is is uh, being given up to, like, something smiles. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. Uh, many notable comic industry professionals made their thoughts about the layoffs known on social media. Well, of course they did. By social media, they mostly mean Twitter because they can't shut up on Twitter. Yeah, just Twitter. Comics Twitter is pissed. Gail Simone, very sorry to hear of the layoffs at Oni Press. Again, you need to add again, Gail. It was the first pro publisher to hire me, and those employees are hugely talented. Uh, as a creator, honestly, truly, fuck Oni Press. Mostly fuck Polarity for ruining the lives of so many people. Well, here's the thing. There are two sides to the story. Because the reality is, is if the book sold better, people probably wouldn't be getting laid that's, off. That's valid. Um, I think that the company has been mismanaged. And I think if they were focused on... Books that will sell? Books that will sell. Remember Scott Pilgrim? Remember how well those books sold? Yeah, you need that like every year, not just every 10 to 15 years. You know what's funny though? You can get books that will sell from diverse creators, but they only go for the ones that have the big, you know, the big uh, mouthpieces on Twitter. Well, <laughs> well, one of the first first responses to, to Popverse mm -hmm. is uh, talking oh, see, about- I didn't know you were going to go there, but yeah. yes, perfect example. Eric July's book. Right. Um, I'm saying you can find diverse creators that will sell. The problem is they're not the ones that have the big mouthpieces screaming their mouths off on Twitter. Usually they're out there getting the work done. Yeah. Yeah. Um, here we have somebody else. I have on pretty good authority. Oni is dropping all their creator-owned stuff next and keeping IP only. I'm serious. Creators, protect yourselves. If you need help figuring how to get outstanding payments, sharing your rights back, uh, et cetera, my inbox is open. Uh, I would say sign a good contract up front. Make sure you have a lawyer look at the contract, too. Make sure you have a lawyer. There are lawyers that actually uh, uh, specialize in IP and comics-related stuff. Um, it is worth spending the money up front to make sure you don't get uh, uh, bent over later. But the reality unless, is, like, unless you're into that kind of thing, unless you're into that kind of thing. But the reality is, is a lot of a lot of these creator-owned comics were never gonna make the kinds of money. I'm not that, trying to be a jerk, but yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's and, true. And then they bank on this because it, for you know woke points on Twitter, um, and they hire these people that are like m activist mouthpieces on Twitter. The people have spent more time on Twitter than getting their damn work done, for one. But the other part is, it's just not things that are going to have mass appeal to the general. I think you have to understand, Twitter is not indicative of the world audience at large. Yeah. And you can find creators that fit all these boxes you want them to fit into that would kick ass, take names, and sell a shit ton of books. But they aren't the ones that you're going to that are on Twitter screaming all the time. You know, what's funny about this, though, is that the Oni Press debacle has actually taken some of the heat off of some of the uh, comic book creators that Twitter doesn't like mm, because now, now everybody's angry at Oni. It's like right. it, it's basically you've got that angry mob from SpongeBob. You but know, they're like squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. yeah, squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. And then they'll come back. Eventually, they'll come back around and remember that other people are making lots and lots of money selling comic books until something else happens the next day. And then squirrel. the next day, IDW burns down again for the fifteenth time, and then this year, this year, and then they'll they'll chase after that. I mean, there's a very like I have never seen anything like a comic book Twitter has the attention span of a gnat. I mean, they basically, they'll, they'll circle about, back around. They have about as much talent too, but that's another Ooh. point. <laughs> but they'll circle back around after, you know, whatever whatever the buzzword is that day. Everybody, like Oni is today's enemy. Because their currency is upvotes and likes. It's not yeah. actually selling books and no. getting paid. Again, if Oni Press and Lion Forge were selling books, 
they would not be in the situation they're people, in right now. A lot of people they hire are the antithesis of, they're against big business. So what do you think was gonna happen? They're anti-sales. Yes, anti-help. Anti-help, anti-sales. There you go. So, uh, you know what? You gotta focus on making the green stuff, guys. You gotta focus on making the green stuff. And, and a lot by of these that you mean money. Money. Yeah, yeah, not not, not other snot, green stuff, not snot or, or infections other, yeah, or no. anything like that. Gonna wrap it up. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe it's open to Brewster is eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, oh you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a. <gasps> not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like, I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my god, you got the axe. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Oh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. Can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>